Zuzzuggers! My big bad doggy doggy doggy. 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 Big bad dogs. These are big bad dogs. These are big bad dogs. Hey! Hey! No! No! We don't do that! Down! Hey! Easy! No! Hey! Easy! No! Me! Y'all don't be fighting amongst us chicken sips. Chicken hit it is. <laughs> yeah, y'all <you're> real tough. <laughs> Why you knock all your bows over? <coughs> Y'all just knocking bows over like you don't get no truck. Get that water. You get that water. Yeah, Trumpet. Go get that water, Trumpet. Get that water, Pox. Yeah, get that water, Pox. I see you, player. You a pimp and a player. You know how to speak, huh? You good girl, mama. You got that water. Yeah. You got that water. Yeah, you told that water. That water, you ain't playing no games with that water. You told that water.
Yay, yay. Cause that's how we get down. Yeah, yeah. Going down, players. Player, player, player time. Every day, MSU bully, alien dog bloodline. We put in work and we get back go every time. People like, you just trying to make money off them dogs. If I was trying to make money off them dogs, I would have sold them when they were eight weeks old. What I'm trying to do is create something better, correct, healthy, active. Active can do anything any other dog can do, but better. I'm trying to make the perfect American bully with a proven temperament, one you can trust. You know, I love that started with American Pit Bulls. I got the first one when I was 13, Sorella Snooty Red Nose. She was something beautiful, but it taught me how to be a responsible pet owner because she wasn't trustworthy around other animals around people she didn't know she wasn't just gonna bite anybody but I couldn't take her anywhere I couldn't say load up let's go to the store load up let's go to the park load up let's go fishing I can't do that with the American pit bull their drive is too strong they don't think they just react and they have it in their brain they get like pleasure impulses for for high driven activity, and that might be a wrestling match with another dog. That might be an all out battle to the death, which I don't condone any dogs uh, getting hurt. Uh, that dog's name was Chiva. She lived till she was eight human years old, and she was killed by a bull. Well, two bulls were fighting. And I was working in a saltwater disposal unit in the middle of a cornfield, middle of a cow field. And uh, two bulls were fighting all day. And then one, they were locking horns, and one flipped the other one over the fence. When it landed on our side, she just went after it. I tried my best. I got kicked twice by the bull. I tried to save her. And uh, finally I got her, but she had already, the damage had already been done. And, uh... She lived all the way to the vet, and then he put her down without my permission. He said I was too, uh, too emotionally uh, connected to make a rational decision on the dog's well-being. So he took it upon himself. She was pregnant, and uh, she had like a week to go. So I was wanting to try to save the puppies. Uh, when I buried her in the backyard... Uh, the puppies are still, I can still see movement in their belly, even though the vet said that the puppies died instantly when she gave, when they got the shot. It's not, it's not true, I guess, because they were still moving. Well, when I got the American Bully, I fell in love, because these guys, they got that look of strength. They got everything that I wanted in a dog, plus... Their temperament's beautiful. They love other animals. They love being around new people, going new places. They're very social. I can show you Juju. He loves these chickens. You would think that he's waiting to kill one of them. Nah, man. This morning, one of them got out and was walking all around him. And he was trying to herd it back into the hole that it came out of. Finally, he gave up, and it just was like pecking at his nose and pecking at his face. And he was just shooing it away like he does the puppies. I mean, he loves these guys. He's, he's the first one these animals seen when they came out the box. And I let him kiss every one of them. And I told him, these are your puppies. You take care of these guys. Look at these beautiful freaks. Look at these silkies. They're so beautiful. There's three different kind of uh, guineas, which are African... Uh, uh, F L They're African They're not like chickens at all, different breeds. They are a pheasant 
Yes, a fowl. Uh, a guinea fowl. A fowl is what they are. And chickens are a different breed altogether. But then I got silkies. I got three different kinds of guineas. I got uh, uh, Easter eggers, which lay different color eggs. And then I got black morans, which there's like 19 morans up in there. 18 morans up in there. Two different breeds of morans. Some are older and some are... Uh, the older ones are from Tractor Supply. And the younger ones, like the one that got out, the little guy right there, they are from a special breeder that... Uh, those are his award winning ones. He's been doing some stuff with those and we, we got blessed with those. So uh, yeah, that's where we at. That's what we do. Chick uh, Juju loves his chickens. He thinks that they're his little babies. Like I said, they sit there and pick. Uh, uh, that one was sitting there picking uh, bugs off of him. Like you see, you got bugs laying on his face. That one, the one little bird that was out was picking bugs off. It was the second time that, that bird got out. I don't know how he keeps getting out, but we're going to figure it out. I think he was uh, tunneling out, digging his way out. Because I, I, I know that I don't have no openings anywhere. I done walked around twice, looked around, looked around. The only thing I could figure is I left the wheel on in the back, and he clanged through the side. So I went ahead and weighted it down with the with the wet towel. Come on, Jim. You did good, boy. Come on. You keeping them in there. You keeping them straight. Are y'all swimming? Are y'all dealing with the stealing? Did I leave the water running? <laughs> I guess I didn't. Y'all ain't ready to come in. Y'all got 10 more minutes out here, buddy. I try to leave them out of an hour at a time. Hey, 